Hello my dear students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss want half factor, very important topic from the solutions and colligative properties. You will be expecting one question from this, four marks in your pocket at the end of the session, I can assure you that. So, before we go for this, details about want half factor, I just want to take you what Infinity Learn uh, is offering the India's largest scholarship examination score examination. Why it is India's largest scholarship examination? Because this score exam gives you scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop and educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship based on the score you got it. And also in the description box, the link is available, just click it and fill the form and you can enjoy the score examination. One important thing about the score examination is you may be a student of Infinity Learn or may be a student of any other institution, still you are eligible to write the score examination. So while it, uh, please click on the description link and you can enjoy the score examination and the score examination is full completely online and you can sit at home and you can write this examination. All the best my dear students. One more important thing, Infinity Learn is offering NEET 2025 All India Test Series. Whenever you are preparing for any examination, it is required to go for the proper assessment and for that assessment, NEET Test Series Pack is offered. And uh, this Infinity Learn NEET Test Series Pack contain 278 years examination in that 13 unit test four part test and grand test and based on completely neat new pattern and 20 online neat full syllabus mock test and also 25 neat topic wise previous year questions and three physics chemistry books along with video solutions on the app and detailed solutions and performance reports and uh, detailed analysis and your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students so proper analysis Kelly. And itna sara facilities India me infinity learn there are sirf 5,919 rakhe. But special discount at 2,999 ko milega jab aap YouTube 50 off coupon code enter karna limited period of 50% off you are going to get it. So in the description box link is available and you just click it and enjoy seamless preparation for NEET examination all the best. And getting into the topic of the day, want half factor. Whatever the colligative properties we calculate, it is for the sake of calculating molecular masses. So because of the association or dissociation, the colligative properties what you are going to get is abnormal. So, to correct this one half factor is given, one half factor is the ratio of the number of particles after association or dissociation and to this total number of the electrolyte moles or that is dissolved. And one half factor can be 1 or greater than 1 or less than 1. If dissociation takes place, the one half factor is greater than 1. If association takes place, the one half factor is going to be less than 1. If there is no association or dissociation, it is equal to 1, just like a non-electrolyte. So, an example, when acetic acid or any carboxylic acid dissolve in the water, you are going to dissolve and you are going to get CH3COO minus and H plus. One half factor is greater than 1. And if... Uh, Acetic acid is dissolved in benzene due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding. The want half factor is going to be due to association. It is going to be less than 1. It comes to be like this. You can see how association takes place and here hydrogen bonding is seen. And the want half factor can be given as the ratio of the observed colligative properties and observed colligative property and calculated colligative property and this ratio can give you the correction in the colligative properties. Let us see here what a half factor can be expressed I is equal to total number of particles after association or dissociation upon total number of particles that are dissolved in the solution 
and also when we apply it is going to be i is equal to observed colligative properties upon calculated colligative properties. I mean to say experimental colligative properties upon theoretical calculated colligative properties or otherwise i is equal to normal molecular mass and abnormal molecular mass. Colligative properties and molecular mass are inversely related and you can go for this correction of the colligative properties by using one half factor relative lowering of vapor pressure p naught a minus p s upon p naught a is equal to one half factor dot mole fraction of the solute and elevation in boiling point is equal to i k b and molality k b is a bilioscopic constant and depression in freezing point delta t f is equal to i k f and molality k f is cryoscopic constant and osmotic pressure pi is equal to i c r t c is the molarity and um, r is the gas constant please make use of this r value 0 0.0821 and uh, t is the given temperature and this colligative properties is linked with the degree of dissociation or association when the electrolyte is dissociated i value can be calculated from alpha is equal to i minus 1 by n minus 1 so alpha is equal degree of uh, dissociation i is a one half factor and n is the number of particles after dissociation for association you can say alpha value is calculated as i minus 1 upon 1 by n minus 1 so these two formulas looks similar but it is not similar here the n value makes the variation for dimerization two molecules are joining So, n value is taken as 2 and the trimerization n value is taken as 3 and tetramerization n value is taken as 4. So, I just want to give you this kind of want to have factor tricks you can use directly going into the theoretical and logical and numerical based questions on the NEET examination and you can say say an example how the question can come in an aqueous solution of K2HG I4 what is K2HG I4 it is a Nessler's reagent and has 60 percent ionization the one half factor you have to calculate it is pretty simple you can see the ionization of K2HG I4 in aqueous solution K2 HG I4 gives rise to K plus and HG I4 2 minus I value is equal to 1 plus alpha N minus 1. How many N values you are going to get here? Here it is 1 and here it is 2. N value you got it as a 3. So, it is 60 percent is given. Alpha value is taken as 0 0.6. So, that if you apply this I values come to be 2.2 like that you can calculate this. And of course, very important point I, at the end of this I just want to give as I value increases number of particles increases <laughs> so as I value increases what are the scenario you can see I value increased so vapor pressure decreased and freezing point decreased and boiling point increased and osmotic pressure increased based on this particular slide you can say the correct order of the boiling points of the given solutions a b c d will be given it is a popular question in the neat examination so in today's class we had a discussion about the one to half what is one to half factor and how it is calculated how it is calculated for association or dissociation and degree of association and degree of dissociation and the rule question based on this one to half factor order of boiling points we can say freezing points we can say osmotic pressure we can say vapor pressure we can say and get ready to make so many mcqs based on this today's class and stay tuned for this kind of short videos where a simple concept is taken and rigorously discuss where the question can be asked in which corner for the neat examination so get ready for that and stay tuned every day i am coming up with short videos like this so please share this videos with your friends and like this session and subscribe to infinity learn neat youtube channel thank you thank you very much